I'm here for you and you're here for me so we can be free and free is sovereign and we are free when we walk with the Lord we are not to be slaves of this world ever and what God put together let no man put asunder and this nation is married to God to the Spirit of God and we emulate it every time we're in trouble look what look what just happened we were asked to divide we were damn near asked to have a civil war against each other for picking red or blue for picking that side or the, the other side and that's why I'm taken to the lighthouse because this country is going to fly under a different color and that color is a color of sovereignty that's what we're gonna do and the color of lights beheld everywhere is yellow. The sun is yellow. The lighthouse will shine in the yellow. We're going to shine. Shine your lights. Shine on your porch lights. And I'm going to go shine this lighthouse light. And we're going to shine it from sea to shining sea to let them know that we are here unity in sovereignty. And the power of that kind of golden thread will turn on around the world. And we're going to see just how really powerful. It's not that we are. It's how powerful love can be. And how powerful God can be through us. So we can all universally say that we are through the I am. And I am through the I am. So this is an I am revolution. Why? Because the Holy Father's name is I am. It's a spirit on the land. And it's a spirit of love. And look what the globe is doing right now. Look what the world is doing. They're showing love on a grand scale, dropping all the things that held us from being together before, which was our skin color, denominations, bank accounts, Republican, Democratic political parties, and our own religions and thought processes. We have just thrown that aside and said, I love you. And if we haven't, that's what I'm going to ask us to do at the lighthouse. And if you're for that kind of sovereignty, then meet this preacher at the lighthouse on Tybee Island, Georgia, February 22nd, time yet to be announced, where I will talk about this and hopefully we inspire a nation to light their lights, to be the light, and for one time in historic humanity, take the potential energy of a huge, you know, what, turn, what, was, what, what is a protest mandate, to really drive that back to Jesus' feet, and that is what I've been called to do. So I stand up now. I do see this revolution. I do see you standing up for sovereignty of the country like it was 1776 and making that matter, and I'm all for that. But I also see what God sees, and there's a love revolution happening.